And some members of the ruling APC have called on President Tinubu to act fast in forming a cabinet. The technocrats are of the view that having a cabinet in place soon enough will quicken the implementation of the Renewed Hope Agenda that will bring soccer to Nigerians in the wake of the removal of petrol subsidy. Stephen Essien reports. It's a race against time. President Tinubu has to form his cabinet before July the 28th, according to a new law that mandates the president to submit the names of his ministers to the Senate within 60 days of taking the oath of office. In 2015, it took then-President Buhari 166 days to announce the cabinet. Recently, the special advisor to President Tinubu on special duties, communication and strategy, Dili Alaki, said a cabinet list was not yet ready. But speculations are rife about those likely to make the list. Other meetings will still be held in order to cross the T's and dot the I's. These members of the ruling APC urged the president to act fast and end speculations. Bring on board persons, technical persons, who are going to start finding solutions to the new government and the new administration. They suggest the president should form an inclusive cabinet cutting across party lines. If you want to really have the best hand, want to take, have the best hand on board to do the job, then you would have to be able to look beyond your party. The president must strike, strive a balance between the politician, the professional politicians and the technocrats uh, so that uh, he will have his um, vision for coming, being the president of Nigeria achieved. Uh, he himself is a technocrat who turned a politician. Beyond political considerations, there's the need for a team soon enough that will implement palliatives to cushion the effect of the removal of petrol subsidy. I think I would recommend that uh, we see cut in cost of other items. And I think he has given um, tax reduction, tax waiver to certain uh, services and uh, commodities. So that in the end, all his ideas about transformation, restoration of what used to be our values and uh, our stand in the international politics, like the statements he made in the Kowas uh, business. Uh, he said Nigeria is back. And, uh, you saw him making presidential statements. Definitely, they are going to come in as experts in economies, experts in industrialization. They are going to be experts. They are not just going to be political wannabes. While the clock ticks, the government has reaffirmed its commitments to the renewed hope agenda. C. Fon ACN, TVC News, Abuja.